the front left side seat needs to come out to access the battery, which is located under the seat. In North America, that means the driver's seat. Begin by tilting the back of the seat all the way forward and then moving the seat all the way forward. You're going to be removing the seat and I just like to put it in the back seat area. This makes it easiest. If you are replacing the battery because it is dead, you can power up the seat functions by using the positive terminal, red arrow, and negative, blue arrow, located under the hood. With the seat all the way forward, remove the rear hardware caps with a trim removal tool. They just pop straight off, red arrow. Because there is very little room between the mounting bolts and the seat, you will need to use an M10 stubby to remove this. These bolts are M10 triple squares. Do not try and use a torque. With both rear bolts removed, move the seat all the way to the rear and remove the front two bolts in the same manner. Tilt the seat back and you will find an access panel in the carpet for the seat controls, red arrow. Our Cayenne had three different electrical connections. Separate these. There is not a lot of room to work and these connections were oddly stubborn. The first two had two clips that you squeeze in, red arrows, and pull the connection out. This image demonstrates the second connector. Pull the wiring harness out from the push plug, indicated by the red arrow. The yellow connector is for the airbag. Slide the top black locking clip towards the front of the vehicle, red arrow. Then push down on the back of the clip and slide the connector back and out. The connection should easily separate. Whatever you do, do not stick anything metal in the connection to try and separate them. You can now move the seat into the back seat area to try and get it out of the way. If your Cayenne has never had the battery replaced, there is a good chance the carpet flap under the seat has not been cut. You can use a blade and carefully cut the remaining section of the carpet open to cause a large flap area that you can lift up, red arrows. Most of the carpet is pre-cut already. I am going to peel the carpet back as it gives you much more room to work and also for photographic purposes. If you are peeling the carpet back, use a T20 torque and remove the single screw holding the air vent in place. You do not need to remove the air vent. If you're going to be pulling up the carpet, I like to use a trim removal tool and lift the sill plates up for ease of removal and reinstallation. Fold the carpet back until you have access to the battery cover. There are four clips on the cover that you can undo with your fingers. If you want, you can use a screwdriver to release the clips. Release the four clips and remove the cover. It is a tight fit, so expect to wiggle it around until you get the right angle. Always disconnect the ground on the battery, red arrow, before the positive. Use a 10 millimeter socket and loosen, but do not remove the tightening bolt on the cable end. With the bolt loosened, red arrow, remove the cable from the battery and set it aside where it cannot make accidental contact with the post while working on the battery. Use a 10 millimeter socket and remove the positive cable in the same manner. Disconnect the vent hose from the battery, red arrow. Use a 10 millimeter socket on an extension and remove the left side mounting bracket, red arrow. Remove the bracket from the battery area. Use a 10 millimeter socket and remove the center mounting bracket. Flip up the handles on the battery and lift it straight up and out. The battery is very heavy, get help if needed. If you are leaving the battery out of the vehicle for any length of time, make sure to put it on a battery maintainer. The Cayenne is very sensitive to voltage and it will not take long for this to affect your battery and cause problems after installation. 
clean the battery tray area before installing a new battery. Take a picture of the new battery. You will need to enter the new battery information with a scan tool after you are done. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.